Bar for Bar album reviews, D. Bledsoe and Noble, The Rich and Saucy. The Rich and Saucy is the latest project from Richmond rapper D. Bledsoe and Bay Area producer Noble. This project is a quick 19 minute listen, but you get a lot of great music out of it. It starts off really strong with the intro track, See the World, where we essentially just have DB talking about how he wants to see the world, clearly. But there's more to it than just that. There's all the trials and tribulations that you have to go through and all the work that you have to really put in. By the end of the track, you have him mentioning how it's kind of a blessing to be able to get to that point in life. And I think it's something that everyone kind of hopes for. Everyone wants to be able to go and see the world. And for DB especially, as a black man, it's even harder at times. I mean, we... We know what's going on in the world. It's not that easy out there. This goes really well into my favorite song on the album, which is a crew cut titled Getaway, which features Sam, Champ Green, Monty Draper, Ian Kelly, and Rue Shankle. This, this track is great. And when I first listened to it, it like I just knew right away it was going to be my favorite song. But I guess that's kind of cheating because it has a bunch of my favorite people on it. Um... Uh, and honestly, anytime DB does a crew cut like this on one of his albums, it's just been great. Like when he did on Stargazer Gospel and when he did on Project Enrichment, I enjoyed both <laughs> of those crew cuts. Uh, this one is great too because with DB's verse, he's rapping about Richmond. And I mean, if you don't know about Richmond, I mean, outside of, I guess, what's newsworthy is there's also the refinery there. So who knows what's happening to us? (laughs) If you were living in Richmond, I mean, your health, sure. (laughs) Um, That's something to consider for sure. Uh, We also get an amazing intro verse from Champ Green. And he's just one of those guys that's always a joy to hear from. Because if you don't follow him on Instagram, you're really missing out. But every Monday, Monday (laughs) Manifestivity is just, it's a great way to start the week. Uh, Monty brings in a really dope verse as well, and Ian Kelly closes out the track, and it's just a, it's such a well-rounded track. What is also really exciting and interesting about this album, I'd say, is the willingness to experiment, because at least off of the last few projects that we've gotten from DB, a lot of the beats may be what you would expect, you could say, but on this album, he kind of goes a little bit out of his comfort zone <laughs> at least that's my opinion of it because with tracks like um nobody you get more of a r&b sort of slash dance hall vibe to it which i it's not something i would have expected <laughs> in all honesty but it db does it well hey and nobody's just you know essentially she don't want nobody but me <laughs> talking about the woman in his life and then we get Moon Hit, which is another track that I is not something that, again, I would expect from DB, but it works well. And it's only because the chorus is so hype. <laughs> like, it's, it's fitting because of the whole track. I mean, he's a worried wolf because Grand National and all that. But it's also just, it's a fun song. And then the album project wraps up with make it happen featuring uh black achilles and tizo and that's just one of my favorite courses on the album like it's just it's something about just this whole vibe on that track that's enjoyable to me and to be fair one thing that you really notice throughout this project is that db has a lot of chemistry with everyone he's worked with here which is understandable. <laughs> I mean, these are people that he's worked with for a while and people are like Grand National Associates, essentially. But it's it, it shows well on this project. Like, every time he's done a track with uh, Black Achilles or Cham Green or Ian Kelly or Mani, like, the chemistry is there. And one thing that you also notice that I guess isn't really common <laughs> uh, or not common on every project is that 
whenever you have a featured verse, they give it their all, but so does the the main artist. That's not really a thing on a lot of albums. I can think of a few examples recently where you have like a commercial album and you have a dope rapper hop on the feature, but they kind of half-ass it because, you know, I mean, either they didn't really care for the song, they don't really <laughs> care for you, um, one reason or another, but here you can tell like because they've worked together in the past they've worked together for so long they have that bond they have that chemistry and it all works out great uh one thing with this project that i really did enjoy with the rollout at least was um getting the narration <laughs> from roy like that i wish it was actually on the project too because it would have i guess added a lot more to it because, yeah, you have the rich and saucy, which, you know, you can kind of think of it like this whole project is, you can relate to the finer things in life, like little aspects of it, or I guess the road to the finer things in life. But by having Roy narrating on uh, IG, at least, it's, it adds a lot more to it. Yeah, this project is quick listen, 19 minutes with five tracks, and... There's a lot to enjoy. I mean, there's definitely going to be something for everyone here. Uh, if you haven't listened to DB before, I mean, this is going to maybe be a little bit different than what you would expect, at least on the more, I guess, experimental tracks. But if you are a fan of DB, I think you'll enjoy all of this. And another thing to really mention is the production is perfect. <laughs> like, the production is dope, and the way that DB raps over the production is great as well. Like, it's... Everything just works. Uh, my favorite tracks on this project, like I've already mentioned and you can probably assume, is Get Away and Make It Happen. I mean, I'm only going to list two because it's five tracks, but they're all great in their own way. The only one that I tend not to go back to as often is Nobody, but that's just because that's not the vibe I'm always on. But it's still a solid track. That's all I've got for this quick little album. Let me know in the comments below if you have checked out this album and what your thoughts on it are. If you haven't, I mean, definitely do so. It's it's 20 minutes long. <laughs> you can you can get through it. It's you'll enjoy it, I'm sure. And if you don't enjoy it, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, also, like and subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. Thank you for watching and please stay safe out there.